Welcome back to the Hot Pockets pregame show. We're rocking our Hot Topic shirt. And guys, now it's time to talk about the key players in tonight's Friday night kickoff matches. And we're going to get it started with match number one. This is going to be an awesome matchup between 8th seeded Heaven and Earth and 9th seeded Darkest Hour. Scott, who is your player to watch tonight? Well, Chris, it goes without saying for me just because I played against him for so long. It's Anarchy from Heaven and Earth. Now, I'll tell you why. This guy, he's the finally a leader of this squad, okay? He has three people under his wing, and they're looking up to him. Strong tight has never been a leader. He has always been a follower. And what perfect person to have than Anarchy. Anarchy has played with all the greats for a reason because he has the potential to be a great leader. And what are you going to be looking out for him tonight, Scott? Uh, I know he does not get the sniper. He's just a solid player. He supports a lot. So I'm expecting him to just do consistent playing and do the objective work when needed. All right, and DMAC, I know you're not watching a guy from Heaven Earth. You're watching a person from Darkest Hour. Who do you got? Uh, I'm watching a player who's, who made a lot of noise last tournament, and that's Twilight. We talked about him a little earlier in the pregame show, and it's because of what he does. Twilight has really emerged as somewhat somebody to be on a superstar level. What he does with the sniper, he, he really changes the game. If he could get on fire, he could change the whole momentum of the game, and there's only a few players in the game that could do that. If Twilight could get going, this could be an easy win for Darkest Hour early on. And remember, guys, on our Columbus Friday night kickoff, it was Twilight. He was the guy shutting down Nated, out-sniping Nated, the best sniper in the world, if you ask me. A really impressive kid to watch. Now, let's move on to our second match of the Friday night kickoff, and that is going to be between six-seated Carbon and 11-seated Purgatory. Scott, who are you watching? The guy you were just talking about, Chris. I'm watching Nated, and I'll tell you why. One, he can take the game over. And some think he's the best sniper in the world. Not me personally, but he's up there, definitely. But he has the ability to take the game over. We've seen it time and time again. If Nade gets on fire and his head's in the game, no one can stop him. Not a single team, not Roy, not Lunchbox, no one. He's just an incredible player to watch. And I don't know if you guys are watching the Red Bull land, but Nade was narrating the map descriptions. The funniest thing I've ever seen on any Halo player. Go watch the rebroadcast. <laughs> DMAC, your turn. Who are you watching? Carbon Purgatory. Uh, I'm watching Gilkey. Uh, we... Didn't have a lot of VOD on him. I had to go back and watch the secret VOD just to watch some footage from him. But Gilkey's a very impressive player. He's, if you look at his battle rifle, it's very solid. He's aggressive. He's, uh, he's always communicating. He has a great sniper. Gilkey has it all. And now we just have to see if he could take it to the top level. Now, uh, yeah, I'm watching Gilkey. That's You're all I have to Gilkey. say. He's good. He's really, really good. Not a lot of players know that. But he's very good. And uh, you mentioned it earlier, third most positive player in all of Columbus. The kid 98. has some skill. You guys will see him for the first time tonight. He will blow your mind. But, guys, now it's my turn to weigh in. Player I'm watching, Carbon Purgatory. Killer Drew, and he's coming up on the pregame show next. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep going because we're not ready with the commercial. Killer Drew is going to be joining the pregame show. <laughs> All right, and check out some clips. Apparently, we got some highlights that Lennox Cool Gamer is going to show up. Killer Drew, one of the best young leaders in the league. Definitely love the way this kid plays. He's always communicating. He's kind of like Flame Sword in the way. But, you know, I think what I really like about him is he's more of a main slayer than we see out of Flame Sword. He is the one, when we saw him with with Naden on the team, he actually gave up the sniper. I don't think he's going to have to do that tonight. I'm going to look out for him to go huge. There was his game-winning snipe last event. I think he's going to have a couple more of those this evening. All right, guys, we're going to a quick commercial break. Killer Drew joins the show right after this. People try to discourage us from eating Hot Pockets on the go. You look like a fool with those buns. Nurse! But as free eaters, we're here to stay. New Hot Pockets Side Shots Cheeseburgers. Soft, big buns of awesomeness you can eat wherever. Eat freely. Are things different now that I'm not crushing quarterbacks every Sunday? Yeah, a little bit. But I still have a taste for greatness. So I love Dr. Pepper. The taste of these 23 flavors can never be equaled. Like me. Pizza for McNabb. I got it. Donovan. Mike? What? Mike? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come on, Mike, man. Still got it. There's nothing like a pepper. Trust me. I've sent people to the doctor. Oh.
able to block a body watch. It's so powerful it can block VO for 16 hours. It's blocking powers as powerful as me. Yeah, it is. Who said that? Is that my left bicep? No, it was my abdominals. Body wash is too powerful to let this commercial in. Block! Building kick! Explosion! Power! Welcome to the Hot Pockets pregame show. I'm now joined by Killer Drew. Drew, how are you feeling right now, buddy? I'm feeling pretty good. It's uh, the 50th event, and I have the team that I love. I love teaming with Karma, so. I'm excited. I was gonna say, so you were on Heaven and Earth, now you are joined up here on Purgatory. We yes. kind of rebuilt this brand new squad. How did you come about the players that are on this lineup? Um, well, I knew I wanted to go back with Karma, and I looked at that team and I knew I needed two people from the Illuminati seed to hold the seed. And uh, I knew Gilkey was amazing. I knew he had- Gilkey was the man? He's, he has incredible raw skill, and I knew with what I knew and the kind of veteranship I have, I, I'm, you know, I'm not, as long of a player as Karma or Mimic, but I know a lot about the game. So I thought I could take him and turn him into an amazing player, and you guys are gonna see how much he's improved. And Mimic, I land against him in Orlando, before Orlando, mm -hmm. and uh, he impressed me a lot. I was so. gonna say, Mimic, that was something that when I saw it on paper, I was so excited. The kid's been competing forever. He's yeah. now getting a chance to perform on the Friday night kickoff. What really made you wanna go out and pick Mimic up? I knew he's been up there before. I knew he could handle it mentally. And he just impressed me at the land. And I loved him as a friend, too. He, you know, one big thing about me is I really want to get along with my teammates. Mm -hmm. And in the past, that hasn't really been going too well for me. So with Karma, Mimic, and Gilkey, it's just couldn't ask for much it more. Just, yeah, just clicks. I'm having so much more fun. All right, now, I know you, uh, you have a bunch of people you, you want to take down here in Raleigh. But is there any one team you're really gunning for this weekend? The team that stole my team. Uh, <laughs> that fake heaven and earth. Fake heaven and earth. Strong yeah. side and cypher squad. Not, not a fan, huh? Um, you know, I respect them all. Uh, they, they weren't really malicious in any way. Mm -hmm. They didn't try to take my team name. They didn't try to do anything disrespectful. It's just how it worked out. And uh, I think it's just going to be a fun r little rivalry. All right. Well, you came up with a pretty sweet team name, Purgatory. Yeah. Yeah. Respect for that. But I, I got to ask you, we did get a chance to see you at a 16 land. Didn't see you out at the Red Bull headquarters. What did you guys do to prepare for this event? We played on Gilkey's awful host every single game. That's what we did, and uh, I think it's actually going to work out to our benefit because we had to learn how to play while shooting somebody eight times and then not dying or beating them down twice and them not dying. So we had to work with that. And so to come over to land and for people to actually die in four shots and die in two beatdowns, it's only going to make us that much better. Have you guys gotten a chance to warm up at all today? Uh, we played two games before I came over here. We lost the first game to believe the hype and then beat them the second game. Awesome. You know, it's just a warm up. Can't really take too much from it, but. All right, well, I got, I'm looking off these cards. I have to give props. Heavyweight, once again, my intern is <laughs> writing some bonus questions here. He, he says, you played really well going plus 36 back in Columbus. Are you your main slayer for this team as well here on Purgatory? I think we have such a diverse uh, set of players that don't need one. Mimic or myself can step up uh, generally, I'm the kind of player that will do anything. So if the opportunity comes up for me to pull off some nasty plays, then I'll do it. All righty. Well, Killer Drew, are you ready? It is time for Chris Puckett's Hot Pocket Speed Rounds. Let's you ready? do it. Yeah, you ready? Let's do All it. right. This being our 50th event, I have to ask you, what is your favorite MLG event? Uh, Meadows 09. It was the first event I had pro status, and it was just exciting. Get to come into the venue early and see what it's all about, so it's exciting. Awesome, speed round, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3? Halo 2. Left sock, right sock? Left sock. Shoes or sandals? Shoes. Snowboard or surfboard? Soccer ball. Sand or snow, <laughs> soccer ball. <laughs> awesome, most underrated player? Buckness. Buckness, most overrated player? Buckness. <laughs> <laughs> Most overrated play. I'm just kidding. I love it. Your brain doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> He's good at Halo. All right. Uh, fight a T-Rex or hug a panda? I'd definitely hug a panda. <laughs> He's a lover. <laughs> Favorite map? Uh, pit. Favorite weapon? Sniper. Favorite teammate? Pocket. <laughs> when we warm up in we'll the Dr. Playing, Pepper Lounge. We crush the 2v2 it's Dr. Easy. Pepper Lounge, yeah. obviously. Stuffed crust or regular hot pocket? Regular hot pocket. 
Sniper or rocket? Sniper. Camo or overshield? Camo. Heaven or earth? Purgatory. Purgatory. Good answer, guys. That's the Hot Pockets pregame show. I'm Chris Puckett. This is Killer Drew, and this is the gorgeous Gabi with delicious side shots. Killer Drew. No, thank the you. The show's over. Let's feast. I got to keep mm. this physique, you know? <laughs> I can't do that. All right, well, get off me. Come on. More for you. All right, guys, we're turning down to Farouk with some Matador stuff. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. <laughs> Farouk, what's up, buddy? I don't know, Puckett. Those uh, Hot Pockets sound like they taste very good. So thanks a lot, Puckett. At each competition during the 2010 Major League Gaming Pro Circuit, Matador Beef Jerky will be looking and watching your every move, looking for the person or the player who makes the bold plays for his team. Now, a bold play during a crucial moment during a game can change the entire match. I mean, it's bigger than statistics. It's a single key moment that can shift the momentum for an entire series. Now, in our second stop on the 2010 circuit in Columbus, this player became an instant legend when he did a quick scope on SK in a crucial game 11 in Pit Team Slayer. Not only that, he accounted for four out of five of the final kills, and he actually even assisted on that final fifth kill. And I'm not going to say any more about this guy. He is definitely clutch. He did everything he needed to do. So without any further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the Columbus Matador Beef Jerky Bowl, Bowl Player Award winner, Goofy, y'all. Let's hear it for him. Make some noise. All right. And to present him with his Matador Beef Jerky Customized Bowl Player Award Backpack. We got the Matador girl right here, stuffed with all that great Matador Beef Jerky. Also, we got the Astro speaker tags for you. There you go. And this is really important. This is a check for $1,000. There you go, know, all right there for being a Bowl Player Award. Here, one more time for Goofy, y'all. Give it up for him. Now, now, now Goofy, you... You had that clutch match right here on this main stage a couple months ago in Columbus. I know you had to be thinking to yourself, you know, I, I saw who won the Bowl Player Award. This has got to be Matador Beef Jerky Bowl Player material. I got to be here. So now that you're up here, how does it feel to be recognized as the Matador Beef Jerky Bowl Player? Um, it feels amazing. Like, it's every Halo player's goal to be, like, recognized and, you know, have, like, that 49-49 clutch play. And, you know, doing it against a team like Triggers Down, you know, Players like Hysteria and SK, you know, they've won, like, a lot of tournaments. So just doing it against a team like them just feels amazing. Exactly. And actually, I failed to mention, that was the big momentous occasion because you guys took down Triggers Down in a big upset, and you had your career best high finish at fifth place, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, once again, congratulations there, Goofy. Another big round of applause for Goofy, y'all. Right. Best of luck throughout the rest of the tournament. And, uh, you know, continue doing what you're doing, and best of luck with your uh, Bowl Player Award right there, all right? So don't forget, y'all, remember, MLG officials are going to keep their eye out on you all weekend long looking for the next Matador Beef Jerky Bowl Player Award winner. So you guys go out there, be on top of your game, and don't forget to power up with Matador Beef Jerky. And coming up very shortly, right after this commercial break, we got the Doritos Friday Night Kickoff. Don't go anywhere. 